include everything. All right, guys, we're back in Code Academy React JS Part One, doing components, interacting components, render other components. Um, a short section, but a very important section. So when developing your React applications or your React websites, you're going to be using components. You're going to be using it for basically everything. And an important part of that is being able to kind of chain your components together so that when you are rendering it out, you're rendering out all your components and not just one. And that's basically what this um, section is about here. So they give us an example of how we would uh, create a component. Uh, all this should be pretty familiar. You'll see here that we're actually creating multiple components right here. And in one of our components, we're returning our OMG component right here. So uh, just keep that in mind. You're seeing a component returned within a component. So let's, let's jump right in right now. Now, the way that we would be able to do this is exactly how we saw. So you'll see that we have two files here. One is a navbar file, which contains a navbar component. The other is a profile page, that uh, JS file that contains a profile page component. So what it's asking us to do is that on line nine, it wants us to simply insert our nav bar right here. Now, this is how you would insert or link a component just like that. It's pretty straightforward, right? Um, the only thing is because we're in two different JavaScript files, we're gonna actually have to link to that file and uh, similar to how we do require like so. So you'll see right here that um, basically gives us an example of that. Uh, it, it uses the relative, um, the relative uh, path and we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and require the file like so. So we're gonna say var uh, navbar is equal to require, basically just saying where's this file at and it happens to be at this location, dot slash navbar. Close it. Let's go ahead and run that real quick. So we're basically just importing the navbar uh, file so that we can use the navbar component. Nice. Now, uh, it goes into a lot of detail here about module.exports. Take a second to read over this. Uh, if you want more documentation, it's there. It gives us a nice example here, module.exports, fave manifestos. Basically what it's saying here is at the end of a file, you can use this module.exports, and it's gonna, so when we call that file, when we require that file, we're only going to actually get, that was very loud, get the component that we want and nothing else. So it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, won't re it won't return the entire entire first file as they explain here. So let's go ahead and jump into our nav bar, and you'll see inside, if, outside the nav bar, but within the navbar.js file, outside the navbar component, I should say, we're gonna actually export module.exports our component. Now this isn't gonna do anything unless we call this file. But now when we go and it uses the require here, it's actually only going to pull this aspect right here. It's only gonna pull this component and nothing else. So maybe we had multiple components, but we only wanted to pull one aspect of it. That's kind of why you would do something like that. No need to import the React file a second time as well. Very nice. And then finally, we're gonna go ahead and just render this out. So, uh, now that we've required the file, we're gonna go ahead and just do the same thing we've been doing in the other tutorials, where we're gonna react on dot render, and what do we wanna render out? We wanna render out our profile page component right here, which is also gonna render out our navbar component because we've imported it, and we've only are gonna import the navbar component because of our module exports. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're gonna go ahead and import our profile uh, page component, excuse me, not import. We're going to um, say, look, out export our profile page component to document dot get element by ID to this location app. 
then when we run it, bam, any second now. Um, there we go. So we have our our component here, which is our nav bar, and then we have our profile page. So uh, a little bit of a short lesson, but an important uh, lesson of how that you can import components from other JS files and and use components within components, which is a very crucial part of React. So up next, I imagine this is going to get a little bit more complicated, and we're going to be talking about something called props as well. So um, it's a dynamic way to store information, apparently. Um, I've used props very limited amount, but it should be fun. But as always, thank you to those of you supporting me on Patreon. It's appreciated a ton. Don't forget to like and share the video. It helps out the channel more than you know. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and support me on Patreon. And if you're looking for additional video material to supplement your learning, go ahead and check out Team Treehouse. And if you're a recent graduate or a current college student looking for part-time work, full-time work, or internships, check out wayup.com. As always, I'll see you guys next time.